Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Now, the National Weather Service right now has a little bit of an issue. Someone kind of pulled the plug, tripped over some uh, electrical cords. I don't know, but the data isn't coming in very well. So the observations we have here are a bit questionable. Some locations are a little bit warmer than uh, what's being shown here as we haven't had some updates in a while. But you get the general idea here. It's clear, it's calm, it's a little chilly out there. And you can see on our surface map, again, not the latest observations, but you can get in, kind of get the idea, not much has changed since 4 a.m. High pressure remains over us and when we have this ridge axis, that means it's gonna be pretty nice today. Calm winds, sunny, Temperatures are going to be a bit warmer because we don't have as cold of an air mass overhead. But trouble is brewing off to the west. And we can see that very clearly here on our infrared satellite picture. But first, you can see on the clear, visible satellite picture, no clouds, very nice, very quiet out there. Not so as we head off to the west. There's our infrared satellite picture. And we have this storm here that is going to be under the influence of both the polar and subtropical jet streams. So this feature is going to lift up towards Canada, and we're going to be watching this feature that's organizing here. That's going to head towards the Tennessee River Valley and bring us rain for tomorrow afternoon, possibly some embedded thunderstorms tomorrow night along the coast. And oh yeah, maybe a little bit of snow up towards the Poconos, more so as you head off towards the uh, eastern Great Lakes, but uh, definitely a threat for maybe a coating to two inches of snow up towards the Poconos. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, high pressure pushes off the coast, producing more of a southerly wind by the time we get to this evening. Look for temperatures to rise into the lower to mid 50s along the immediate coast, mid 50s over the interior, and upper 50s to lower 60s in the Delaware River Valley. For tonight into tomorrow morning, clouds will be on the increase. Look for temperatures to fall off into the mid to upper 40s. And for tomorrow afternoon, periods of rain will develop heavy at times. Don't be surprised to get an embedded thunderstorm or two down along the Jersey Shore, maybe up towards portions of Long Island. Not looking for anything severe, but these thunderstorms can produce some wind gusts over 40 miles per hour and very heavy downpours reducing visibility. So just be aware of that. Temperatures will be rising into the mid to upper 50s over much of the region, maybe a few lower 60s as you head down towards Philadelphia metro, maybe even a few mid-60s mixed in there. It kind of depends on how far north this warm front gets. If it gets to, let's say, around uh, Trenton, then definitely you could see mid-60s around the Philadelphia metro. So we'll watch that very carefully. And of course, that is going to further enhance our instability. Now, by the time we get to Thursday morning, that low pressure system is lifting up towards the Great Lakes. Rain will be ending from west to east along the coast in the morning. Don't be surprised to get a little bit of snow up towards the Poconos and eh, maybe a trace of two inches. More of the more significant snow is going to be up towards uh, the eastern Great Lakes here where snowfall could push over four inches there. So a pretty nice little snow event up towards interior New York. But for our neck of the woods, most locations just rain. Now, I know that it's opening day on Thursday, so watch out. For the Yankees game, which is supposed to be at 1 p.m., you might be a little bit delayed with a few showers, but then drying out there after the rest of the afternoon. Phillies look fine at 3 p.m. The Mets are down in Washington. They'll be dry by the afternoon as well. Temperatures on Thursday range from the lower to mid-30s in the higher elevations in the Poconos and Catskills. Mid to upper 30s over the rest of the interior. Along the coast, look for low temperatures in the upper 30s to mid-40s. For high temperatures, look for them to range from the lower to mid 30s over the higher elevations in the Poconos and Catskills, upper 30s to mid 40s over the rest of the interior, and upper 40s to lower 50s for the rest of the region. On Friday, high pressure builds in, still a bit gusty, but overall not too bad. Look for lows in the mid teens to lower 20s over the interior, mid to upper 20s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. On Saturday, high pressure will be in complete control with clear skies. Chilly in the morning with low temperatures ranging from the single digits to upper teens over the interior, lower to mid 20s along the coast. 
High temperatures, though, will rebound very nicely into the mid to upper 40s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the immediate coast, and mid to upper 50s in the Delaware River Valley. On Sunday, which is Easter, a weak trough will move through, maybe an isolated shower, but for the most part, scattered broken cloud cover is expected, with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 30s for lows and lower to mid 50s along the immediate coast, mid to upper 50s over the interior, and upper 50s to mid 60s everywhere else for highs. On Monday and Tuesday, high pressure will be in control. There may be a passing trough or two that could produce an isolated shower, but for the most part, it's pretty quiet. Look for low temperatures on Monday to range from the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast, high temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s, and on Tuesday, look for lows in the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast, and high temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 60s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always, stay safe out there.